Hi, my name is Valerie. This is Flip the Page. Now, what I do here is I talk about books in general. I also read to very young children and in so doing, teach them how to read properly. The whole idea is to get everyone interested in books again and hopefully maybe revive a fast dying reading culture. Who knows? So please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. And also remember you can click on the notification button so that as soon as I upload something new, you'll be the first to know. So straight to the business of the day. I'm flipping the pages of this lovely book. It's The Concubine by the Nigerian author Elechi Amadi. The Concubine is about this lovely young character, Ihuoma, who is married to a guy, Emenike. Emenike gets in a fight with an adversary, Madume, and loses his life in the process. Madume inherits Ihuoma according to the customs of the time. Madume also dies, leaving Ihuoma widowed a second time. Now, this other guy, the village bard, is also interested in Ihuoma, but he's engaged to be married to some other girl, Ahuwole. He decides to go through with his marriage so that he doesn't go against tradition. He marries Ahuwole, but he soon gets tired of his child bride and her weepy, whiny nature. Ahuwole is just a plain old pain in the neck, really. And now, Ahuwole's mother notices that Ikweme is fast losing interest in her daughter, so she decides to give him a love potion. Unfortunately, the love potion makes Ikweme go mad. And then Ikweme comes to the rescue. Ikweme cures Ikweme, and then Ikweme decides he must marry her. They go to the oracle. The oracle tells them it's a bad idea, tells them the marriage is doomed to fail. And they decide they would go ahead with it anyway, after all, love conquers all. Unfortunately, as preparations for the wedding are underway, um, Ikweme's young son shoots an arrow, which hits Ikweme accidentally and kills him. That's what the book is about. Now, the only thing I've got to say about this book is I love the traditional elements in it. It's always a pleasure to read books that are about Africa and about Nigeria. So I enjoyed this book. Now, here is this um, young lady. It's believed that she is married to a sea king, what we would call an incubus in modern language, and that he is responsible for the loss of her husband. She has lost one, two, and then a third husband. So that's the general belief. And I don't know, it's actually believed that these things happen. I don't know how true they are, but then it makes for an interesting read, really. I've had fun hanging out with you today, but before I go, I'm going to leave you with this very interesting fact. After we've gone to see our top three picks for the day, don't go anywhere. a fun fact before the break. Did you know that Charles Dickens A Tale of Two Cities is one of the best-selling books of all time? The book was first published in 1859 and sold over 200 million copies. We'll have to deal with that book someday on Flip the Page. Well, it's been fun hanging out with you. I'll see you next time. Bye!